Hello everyone, thank you very much for watching today. Today is Thursday, the 27th end of the month here. And today we're gonna to be talking about don't underestimate what is possible. So to all of the agents out there, or anybody watching this, that's looking to get better personally, business, financially, relationships, anything, never underestimate the possibilities. And uh, why I'm saying that is that right now, there are so many people, not just in real estate and in business, that have overachieved their goals. How many of you think your goals are like, uh, uh, like a basketball shot, a, 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 a get hole in one? You know, you're, you're only thinking to your goals are that end, is the end. Your goals aren't the end. Do you, do you understand that? Unless you have some goal that no one's ever hit before, <laughs> is if you have a goal in life and that's the end, you should be looking past that. That That's just one level. There's people right now. So anybody that's not at their goals, guess what? There's people, especially realtors, that are beyond their goals. They're past what they even thought they could accomplish. They, they're, they, they wanted just to sell... 10, 15, 20 homes a year, and they're at 30 homes a year. They're at 40 homes a year. They uh, <clears throat> started out as a single agent, never thought that they would build a team, and now they have a team of 20, 30 agents underneath them. Myself here as, as an office, started this office 23 years ago just by myself. Quick two-minute story by myself, never thought once at the time I started my office that it would be no more than a one-man office. That's all I want to be. I want to be one-man office, be in charge of myself. I would want to be CEO, COO, CFO. I wanted to be the janitor, the everything. I want to be all-encompassing, one-man show. And then all of a sudden, a couple of agent friends of mine said, can I we join you? I'm like, okay, come on. And then I said, well, maybe I'll recruit a few agents. Maybe I'll have 10 agents, 12 agents then maybe 20 agents, and then I'm like, well, maybe I'll get to 50 agents. And then I'm like, well, let's try to build this, and maybe I'll get to 100 agents. And then ah, I'll be happy at 100 or 200. Then now almost 500 agents with our office. And that was not my initial goals. The goals kept on changing, they surpassed many of goals. Goals are just stepping stones to more goals. And maybe some of you are like, oh my God, that means I'm not going <laughs> to have to keep working harder and harder. Well, that's up for you to decide. So never underestimate what is possible. And the goals you have today might be the stepping stone for the next goals. Now, what you have to do to get to those goals, of course, and I've said this before, commitment. Commitment is the thing, what you have to commit to. And there's three things about commitment that I want to leave you with today. I don't want to keep you too long today, but three things to think about is when you're committed. You got to one, know what you're committed to. You got to know what you're committed to, what your specific things, goals that you want. What do you want to t obtain? What do you want to do? What do you want to accomplish? You got to know it and visualize it. Two, you have to have the actions and make it work. What are you doing every day? Are you doing what you're supposed to be doing? Example, if, if you say, I have, uh, yes, Tony, I know what I want. I'm, I know what I'm committed to. And I have the actions. If I followed you around all day, every day for who knows, a week, two weeks, do you, would, would you be worried if I was actually watching you every day, all day long, if you're actually doing the actions and walking the walk, talking the talk, and doing the things you need to do to be committed to. Think about that. If there's someone watching you, because I've said this in past videos before, is that sometimes we we think we're doing everything we are, but if we really, because we're the only ones watching, and we always make excuses for ourselves, ah, maybe tomorrow, or I'll just do this today, because again, sometimes, when we're our own boss, we're great, and we're we're, we're on We can't get anything by us, and we work hard. Those are the, the people that get 
further along and hit their goals and are successful. Uh, they're they're re they're very hard on themselves and they're the boss worse than a, another boss would be. Um, so back to that the three things one again no two you have to have the actions and three last three which is very important that you have to have the the creativity and the vision and to to make things work because your all of your actions are not going to equal the results you want. So you've got to be able to pivot and change and move and reassess and try new things and 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 stay with the things that are working and not move on to other things because the things that you're doing are working. You have to be creative and understand and assess everything that you're doing often or almost every day. Because if you're it doesn't matter if you have the, the drive and the commitment and the actions. You're doing actions, but if the actions are moving you in the wrong place or all of a sudden those actions aren't working anymore, because that happens a lot in business and success. You're like, this is going great. This is going great. This is going great. But all of a sudden, hit a wall that this is not working anymore. I, I've i already used up all of these connections and referrals. Okay, time to move on to more prospects and more people and more uh, different clients and a different farm area and a different way of marketing and different networking group, a different community, a different whatever. So you got to have the creativity to change things and pivot and be nimble and change. But don't be that person. I mean, it's a fine line. I've seen people just you know, stopping things and doing a shotgun approach to everything. And like, look at, I'm nimble and I'm changing and I'm, I'm pivoting. I'm like, you're doing it too much. You're not giving it time for the things that you're putting into place to work. So you got to check on that too. So again, bottom line today is don't underestimate what is possible. Because again, your goals today or what you're satisfied with or happy with, you get to that goal, you're going to want a new goal. Because if you don't have a new goal, then you're just trying to maintain. It's hard. It, it, it usually falls off. You're like, well, I'm, gonna, I'm selling 20 houses a year. That's all I want. I just want to sell 20. And then because you've been growing to 20, then you try to keep 20, but you're, you're doing less work because you were training hard. Again, I'm going to compare that to healthy and losing weight and that because I've had it happen to myself. I'm like, I can't wait to get to this weight and I'm going to work hard and I'm training hard and I'm doing going to the gym and I'm eating healthy and then all of a sudden I get to that goal and then I'm not doing all of those things because I don't want to surpass that. I'm like, I'm happy here. And then when you're happy here and you're not doing all of those things that got you to that happy point and then it starts going backwards. Does that make sense? So in your business, if you're working hard, I'm making this many calls and this many connections I'm, I'm going I've seen this happen to great realtors right now there's realtors that used to do 60 70 houses a year they're doing 10 now they're doing five now I've seen it I watch their numbers because I see it they go I can't wait to get to 60 and I'm working my butt off to get it and when I get to 60 now I don't have to work my my butt off as much but yes you do you got to do the same amount of work you did before and even more to maintain that 60 houses a year if not, it goes back down. So hopefully that made sense, gives you something to think about. And re always remember, don't underestimate the possibilities. There's things past the goals that you're thinking right now. And I see it happen. I know 100% because it happens. I see it. I know people right now. I'm not naming names or pointing fingers of all the success. But there's uh, agents out there right now that are beyond what they even thought they could accomplish. So that means you can do it too. If you're listening to this and you're not there, you can do it because they did it. Simple as that. It's simple concept. So that's it. Have a wonderful Thursday, and we'll see you tomorrow at noon. Bye-bye.